What's going on YouTube? Kilton Gunsmith here with the part two for the FIE Titan project. So I got it cleaned up, got all the rust and stuff that I can. It still looks a little rough, but I mean, it's worn from all the years. I got the slide re -blued. I got the rust off of it. Um, all I got left to do with it, and I'm going to show you the after. So this side's looking pretty good. Uh, and on the other side where the heavy pitted and rusting is, what you're seeing is pitting from the actual rust damage. But besides the pitting, it is re -blued and looking as good as it can. It, it, that rust was pretty deep. The only way you can get rid of deep rust pitting like that is to grind it out and fill it somehow with either weld or get another slide, but just for repair purposes and cosmetic and to keep it from rusting further. We're just trying to conserve it from getting even more rusted. So now that I'm done blowing, which I'll talk about here in a second, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a light oil. And what I like to use is either cleanse oil or ballastol. Ballastol works very good, especially for getting heavy fouling out of like barrels and chambers. I'm just gonna give it a very light spray, rub it in with some Q-tips, just to try to work in the oil. Um, so whenever you do prep work before you actually do the bluing, and this is what I use, it's cold permalu. Birchwood Casey makes it. And it's very good. One bottle will do a lot of stuff. Um, I've done with this bottle alone, and I got about a little over half left. I've done three barrels. I've done one entire gun and this pistol, and I still have over half a bottle. So it turns out very well for cold bluing. And there's also hot bluing. Hot bluing is a very dangerous if you're not wearing full PPE. Uh, it's very caustic. Well, so is cold blowing, but it it's hot blowing because you're boiling the chemical compound that causes the blowing, and you need nitrous salts to blue. That gives it what most factory um, blueing looks like, the shiny stuff, kind of like the uh, original finish on here. It does look better and cleaner and crisper than cold blowing, but cold blowing, if you do it right, will look very nice. Um, I've had a couple of jobs where they looked like the original stuff, like it was a brand new barrel on a good buddy of mine. This is a buddy of mine's too, and I think you will like it. Turned out very good. Uh, I'm just going to give us a wipe down. I'm going to put it back together, and then I'll talk about how you blew. So hot bluing requires a lot of equipment, dunk tanks. Um, I don't remember everything off the top of my head, but usually for a full setup for hot blowing, you're talking about bare minimum around 15, 1500 to two grand to start out. Um, typically you're only going to do that if you're doing that as an actual business. But anyway, so we're going to go ahead and get this put back together. Put the plunger in the base slide. You want to make sure you line up the barrel and the spring and you're going to pull it straight back and down. But you got to make sure you get this safety detent down correctly. There we go. So you want to make sure the safety's forward. Then you can push it down. And wreck the slide a few times. And that was a little bit of water that came out. I did. You have to wash it after, which I'll explain. Like I said, so got a few drops of oil that was st or water that was still on it. Give it a wipe down. Usually you want to use a nice good cotton rag to rub in the bluing and then the oil. But as the finished product, I'm not going to say good as new because it's still wear and tear, but it's an old gun. Rack the slide a few times to get that oil in, which I already sprayed some inside of it. Look at that. Functions check. Just bring some oil everywhere. It's all right. Now that's fire. Go ahead and cock it back again. Put it on safe. Should not go bang. Wipe off some excess oil. And then it splatters everywhere. Uh. Yep. I. I'm quite happy with it, and I think my friend will be happy with it, too. 
So this is a 25 ACP automatic Colt pistol. This is what ACP stands for for all, anything ACP. 45 ACP, 32 ACP, 25 ACP. It's automatic Colt pistol. So for bluing, and the magazine I gave it a little bit of a TLC too. Looks pretty nice. It is empty. Don't freak out. And she's done. So, for cold bluing, bottle of this Birchwood KC Perma Blue runs for about anywhere from 8 to 12 bucks, depending on where you get it from. And what you want to do is you either get some cotton rags, some Q tips, maybe some of these awesome sponge tipped uh, cleaners. And you're going to just dip it in after you give it a light shake. Just You're just doing this, you're not really shaking it. Ooh, excuse me. And you're just going to brush it on nice and gently rub it in there swipe it back and forth a couple times um, there's different ways you can do it the technical way is you're gonna do a swipe even lines down the entire barrel or whatever part you're bluing but if I'm doing spot repairs like I did here you're just gonna kind of rub it into place a little bit let it sit for about a minute or two wipe off the excess if they're if it's not all the way completely dried out and then after about two or three rubbings Giggity. You're going to take some fine steel wool, double, triple lot, quadruple lot, and you're going to give it a light buff. You're not trying to put a lot of pressure. You're not trying to take off any material, really. You're just trying to blend in, take off the excess um, bluing, and kind of blend it in. And then you're going to wipe it off with a clean, unoiled rag. When you take that extra loose stuff off, you're ready to do your next coat. Now, prior to doing any bluing at all, you want to make sure that the gun or whatever parts you're bluing is the proper material. This bluing will only work on steel. And if you have a steel part, which this slide is obviously steel, it blued, you want to degrease it and wash it properly. You can even use Dawn dish soap and water. Just make sure you dry it out and get rid of all the water properly because it will end up continuing rusting. And then when you blew over it, if you don't dry it properly, it will build up rust under the bluing and then you're going to be in the same condition you were before. So with that being said, um, what I like to do, my process, is once I'm done stripping the gun, I'll give it a clean, throw it in the sonic cleaner, whatever I'm going to blue, and then I'll take denatured alcohol to do one final prep and wipe it all down with a layer of uh, denatured alcohol. You can even use isopropyl alcohol if you want to, and then you're going to start your bluing process. Uh, you're going to do it until you get the desired color, which this is about four sessions, I, you would call it, where you rub it in, let it set buff it, and then do it again four different times for this. Um, you could do one, two or three. You could do a dozen. It depends on how much it takes to get it to the right color or your desired setup. So I am quite happy with this. I hope my friend does too. This came out quite nice. Um, a lot of people think that cold blowing isn't good. It works pretty well. I mean, obviously, you're still going to see the major mark, but pitting... See if I can get this even closer. The light. You're never going to be able to fill pitting with bluing. You can kind of see it on the slide a little bit. But the color does match, which is nice. And that is it for this project. She is done. Uh, she hasn't been shot or anything in quite a while, according to what my friend said. So I think he's going to be quite happy. And thank you all for watching. If you have any questions at all about this gun specifically, bluing, whatnot, feel free to comment and I'll try to answer you as fast as I can. I'm usually very quick and prompt. If you haven't seen the first video, part one, please do that so, so you can see the before and after. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll be bringing out more content as soon as I can. Thanks all.